Hello, my name is Cold Beer, and this time let's talk about Beyond Skyrim, biggest Skyrim mod of all times that is partially released and partially still in development, but it is no doubt the biggest DLC you have ever seen. And I am not talking only about Skyrim, I don't think any game has such a normal mod like that. All the video you will see here is taken from the mod, nothing is from the original game, so by watching you will be able to comprehend the actual size of everything that is being made. Beyond Skyrim is an unprecedented collaboration between several different Skyrim modding teams, each taking on a challenge of building one of the famous provinces and combining them into one ginormous DLC. Cyrodiil, Iliac Bay, Roscrea, Morrowind, Elsevier, Black Marsh and Atmora Lands are in development right now and giant mod of Bruma is already released. Also, a few smaller mods are available for downloading. In example, Wares of Tamriel will add a unique, fully voiced merchant that will suck your gold by selling to you new weapons, new cyrodelic clothing, never before seen food and a rare loot from Tamriel and beyond to decorate your home with. Also it has more than 100 lines of high quality voice acting with rumors of events across the Elder Scrolls world. Let me first tell you about the Bruma, a released enormous DLC you can play right now. Here you will find the city of Bruma, which you can probably remember if you played Oblivion, reimagined and recreated from scratch in detail, containing over 70 residents, each with their own unique dialogue, stories and routines. Also a fully explorable County Bruma, larger in size and scope than the Dragonborn DLC, packed to the brim with new dungeons, points of interest and secrets, brought to life with more custom art assets than any comparable Skyrim mod so far. Game is fully integrated with the original game. Game. You can cross the border with your existing character or start a new one. And believe me, you will find a lot of things to do here. Innumerable all new quests and storylines, 24,000 lines of high quality voiceover, new weapons and armor and 3 hours of original music. One of the coolest things about this DLC that will instantly catch your eyes is the amount of custom assets it uses. Many mods use pre-existing items, weapons and textures from the base game, because creating them is a huge work, but in Bruma many things are handcrafted, original and fresh to the eye. Because of that you will feel that this is not just rearranged Skyrim, but a totally different region. And I am not talking only about the items and landscape, the dungeons are also masterfully designed, each of them feels unique, filled with impressive items and points of interest. The weapons, clothing and buildings are made from scratch and are perfectly tied into the world. History and culture of Cyrodiil. As a result, Bruma has much different vibe than Skyrim. Like the Oblivion had a different charm than Morrowind, the same way Bruma is different from Skyrim. That is an experience every fan or even casual Skyrim player should dive into without a single doubt. And now let me tell you about the unreleased provinces, work still in progress that will hit our machines in upcoming months or years. Roscrea. Soon it will take you to a land of blood and strife, a land of wild customs, strange cultures and mysteries as old as time. Deep within the mists of the Sea of Ghosts, there lies an archipelago, ripped straight from the pages of legends. For centuries, Roscrea has stood apart from the historical Tamriel Serena, a distant land whose tales of untold riches endured in the minds of explorers as little more than a whisper. But much has changed in the years since. In this DLC you can make your way to this reticent isle and see for yourself the ancient cities, cavernous ruins and virgin wilderness witness a world frozen in time. But time is of the essence, in Roscrea nothing lasts forever. Most travelers call it the end of the world. If you are looking for the frontier, look no further. Bloodthirsty pirates, forgotten ruins and beasts unlike anything you have seen on Tamriel, rough, cold and unforgiving landscape with a tingling sense of danger and anxiety. As when some sees Roscrea as an end, as a no man's land, you will see this archipelago as a territory of untold riches and mysteries older than time. Locals tend to avoid certain places rumored as being dangerous or haunted, but for you it means opportunity and epic loot. Atmora. 
Across the Sea of Ghosts, the lost continent of Atmor awaits. Devastated by a cataclysm long ago, it holds many untold mysteries and unspeakable secrets. From the mountains in the north to the shores of the south, Atmora has been lovingly crafted to depict a believable arctic open world and the ruins of once great civilization. Here you will embark on a survival journey alongside the crew of the expedition and uncover the final days of Atmora, the birthplace of humanity, from which countless legends have descended. An old-school RPG with expansive branching quests, it will take everything to help the expedition to succeed on the northern shores. Your actions will decide the fate of many, and whether anyone makes it home alive. Here you will endure conditions beyond imagining and will turn ancient magic to your advantage. Designed around frostfall and campfire, the core principles focus on immersion, atmosphere and helping the player survive in the hellish, inhospitable environment. Encounter all new enemies, bring home priceless treasure and wander halls that have laid empty for millennia. Rejecting the conventional open world, filler content and meaningless fetch quests, Atmorite is kinda unique in the modding scene, thematically rich and expanding, the mod plays to the strengths of the original game while pushing the boundaries of the genre. Iliac Bay here you will travel to the western lands of High Rock and Hammerfell, each carefully brought to life to be as rich or even more detailed as Skyrim itself. From the snow-tipped peaks of the Dragontail Mountains to the desolation of the Black Wastes, you will venture to some of the most remote places on the continent and lose yourself in rambling cave networks and ancient dungeons. You will explore the bustling capital of Daggerfall and experience the southern charms of Wayrest. In Hammerfell you will haggle in the markets of Sentinel and gaze off the impressive crags of Skaven. Immerse yourself in the depth of political struggles across the Iliac Bay, figure headed by conflicting city-states and kingdoms, assist in the power climb of your chosen allies and put your enemies to eternal sleep. The Iliac Bay developers team have spent hundreds of hours crafting multiple weapon and armor sets for player use, in addition to new alchemy ingredients, magical artifacts and unique loot. In your adventures you will listen to more than 6 hours of unique specially created beautiful music. Soon the pre-release version of Iliac Bay called the Free Kingdoms will be available for everyone, where you can dive into action and get a look at what is in the store for the full release. Cyrodiil a land you probably well know from the Oblivion game. Here, under the oppressive thumb of the foreign Talmor, the men and women of Cyrodiil suffer a desperate existence. As an ancient enemy emerges from the ruins that so long stood silent, you will reclaim the name that once gave Cyrodiil hope. In addition to the free hours of music from Bruma, which is the part of this way bigger DLC, Cyrodiil will feature additional tracks, highlighting the cities of the Heartland and enhancing the stories found within. Featuring voice actors from the titles such as Dragon Age Inquisition, Wasteland 2 and Dying Light 2, Cyrodiil's inhabitants will be some of the richest and most emotional ever seen in the Elder Scrolls universe. From the sun-drenched Gold Coast to the fetid swamps of Blackwood, behold the scars of the recent Great War and the hardships of the Empire in decline. Travel the heartland to discover what happened in the 200 years since the Oblivion, find new loot and trade your Nordic bow for an alien one. Elsewhere discover a land in turmoil, as Elsevier struggles to find identity amidst a cultural war that dominates modern Khajiit society. Friend or foe, hero or villain, your actions will bring great or terrible change to this troubled nation. It seems that this mod is far from being released, because even in an official website concept art is used instead of real places from gameplay. Anyway, this will be a province of dusty badlands, grassy steppes and cold nights under a naked sky. It is barren, often harsh, a land of warriors. The Khajiit of Anakina are led by the wisdom of the clan mothers and many choose the life of nomads. Feel the blistering gaze of the sun, hear the distant rumble of the mighty sandstorms, taste the salty sea breeze of the southern coasts. This strange and exotic climate is brought to life by a complete suit of custom weathers designed especially for elsewhere. Black Marsh. 
This is the ancient lands of the Black Marsh, land of proud people, lush forests, swamps and rivers. This is a work in progress, and currently much of the developer's work is centered on the Onkobe River Valley of northern Black Marsh, as well as the southern portions of Blackwood. In the east, the decayed majesty of the deep marshes stretches to the rosy sands of the crimson coasts, where you will find ancient stone towers, long abandoned by their builders. By exploring those structures, you may find found rare relic armor of ancient Argonians and many other unique loot. But Black Marsh isn't just untamed wilderness. Here you will find vast plantations and dense city-states surrounded by swamps where mysterious creatures dwell in peace or with the intentions to rip you to smallest pieces. And last but not least, everyone's favorite province of Morrowind. Called the New North, the name automatically suggests that this is not your typical Morrowind, with lava flows and green forests of the south. It is the snowy north of the region. But don't get me wrong, here you will find iconic tree mushrooms, people wandering around in insect armor, imposing wizard towers, and next to them are thatched roofs, wooden hulls, and longships. The last Skyrim DLC took us to Solstheim, just off the coast of Morrowind, so some of the assets have been reused. But there is a lot of new stuff too. Haunted crypts, weird dungeons and long abandoned dreamer ruins await us in this huge land filled with life. I don't know what was your experience, but when I played Morrowind and near the Balmora stumbled on the dreamer ruins for the first time, that was a magical moment for me. It was the foggy evening when the tower slowly appeared from the mist near the bridge I was standing on. What secrets can I find here? What is this place? I was wondering. To be fair, that time I have found only my death. But the adoration of Dreamer Ruins and technology stayed with me until this day. The more Dreamer Ruins, the better. That's it for now. Just imagine what Skyrim will look like when all those mods will be finished one day. It will be bigger than the base game and the adventures you can experience will be legendary. Stay with my channel and subscribe for any news about Beyond Skyrim. I will cover interesting events and release dates so you will not miss a thing. Just don't forget to press that bell button for turning on the notifications. Also keep in mind that you can support me here or on Patreon. You will find all the links in the description below. Have a nice day and I'll see you next time.